Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy Fitzmore TV here, aka GLORA33, and I'm back with another video here for you. You know, so today I'm back with some Dragon Ball Super Episode 46 spoilers here for you, and let's get straight into the action. So, if you haven't been watching Dragon Ball Super as of late, we are basically in um, um, the episode swing, we're in the transition from the the Universal God Tournament saga into what is going to be our next saga, the Future Trunk Saga. Presumably, after the Future Trunk Saga, we're most likely going into the um, the un the second Universal Tournament, which will have all the universes involved, most likely, but it's not confirmed as of yet. So the Future Trunk Saga is supposed to be known as the darkest saga or the darkest story as Dragon Ball Super yet, as what we've heard so far. All right, Future Trunks will be returning with some blue hair, so he's going to be looking more like Boma now, um, his mother. And basically, um, he's going to be basically because he needs um, the z Virus help to, um, to defeat a threat, a, a bigger threat than Cell. Um, if you remember, Dragon Ball Z back to the, um, the Cell and Android side when we first met Future Trunks, you know. Um... Basically, I, what I want to know is how strong Future Trunks has become, you know. I believe he has gotten probably much more stronger, and but I believe I believe we will at least see, we will at least see Trunks be able to go Super Saiyan 2, all right? Maybe Super Saiyan 3. If he does go Super Saiyan 3, that would be awesome. It may, even though it may make me a little mad because we haven't yet got, we will never, we'll probably never get to see Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But anyway, anyway, back to the more important stuff. So basically what happened in Dragon Ball Super episode 40, 44, remember how, um, yeah, uh, if you haven't seen the episode, you may want to click out right now, go watch the episode and come back, but if, I'm about to go on with the spoilers, but this was two weeks ago, I believe, um, Dragon Ball Super episode 44, um, Vegeta's body gets absorbed by, um, uh, well, um, they get absorbed, but the superhuman water takes Vegeta's body, really, and makes a, a copy, a copy of Vegeta. A purple copy, you know, a nasty, you know, dirty um, copy of Vegeta. Um, and then it leads into episode 45, where Goku arrives at the scene. Goku sees um, there's two Vegetas, and he, at a second, he thinks that the purple Vegeta is the real Vegeta, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but that will lead us into episode 46, where we'll get Goku versus um, copy Vegeta. Purple copy of Vegeta. Alright. Most people want to see Vegeta versus copy of Vegeta, but Vegeta has no strength right now. Because when I guess when you get absorbed using the um, the superhuman water it takes all your strength away. So Vegeta has basically no strength. Um at the moment at least. Um so basically what I believe here, this is basically filler that will help us that will help lay maybe the groundwork for the trunk saga. Cause remember, we're supposed to get that black Goku villain as the main villain for this saga, which we still don't know his origins and all that. But this might have something to do. I'm not sure yet, but it might have something to do. Who knows? Maybe there's some kind of super, superhuman water in Trunks' timeline in the future that affects, um, that that creates this black Goku character. But that would be confused because in. But I remember from the future Trunks story back in Z that Goku had already died because remember Goku had died of the heart disease in the future in Dragon Ball Z. And so and just about all the other Z virus are gone too um, because of the androids. Unless, the theory, I have a theory that maybe Trunks, Trunks was able to rebuild the society after finally being able to defeating the androids and um, Cell. That maybe he was able to find the Dragon Balls and... Um, and then maybe start wishing the Z-Warriors back. Which could. That's just my theory. If, if it is true, make sure make sure you heard it from me first. You know, your boy fits my TV. Back to the spoilers. So basically, we're going to get... Don't expect Goku to transform into a Super Saiyan form. You know, I only believe Purple um, or a copy of Vegeta could do that. Um, we'll be doing that either. Alright? It's going to be probably... Very classic, like a classic Goku versus Vegeta fight that we've seen, like the first fight they had, maybe. But since they're so much more powerful all these years later, it's gonna have that more intense, you know, that more intense feeling. Because remember, this is Goku versus Vegeta, 
This is the Alpha and Omega of Dragon Ball Z. So, yeah, this is probably the closest we're going to get to see Goku and Vegeta facing off, you know. But I think what's going to make this battle most satisfied fans is that, um, because the fact that Vegeta has still has all his memories and his spirit in this purple form, that he's still gonna he's still gonna look like Vegeta, just like he just has a purple figure. But I don't expect any Super Saiyan. I expect Goku to win because this isn't really any major. This ain't no major story yet. This is just I guess to to give you guys a little action, um, a little taste for what we expect to see for the Trunk Saga. So that's all I got for you guys today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more for you guys soon. Have a good day, guys. Peace.